Ever since we figured out how to use tools for our own benefit, humans have always tried to find ways to capture beauty. From cave paintings and architecture to the fashion and cosmetic industry, we have explored all types. Beauty has its many forms, and its more infamous side is in the form of tattoos. Even though it has been practiced for thousands of years by cultures all over the world. The Iban people, the largest and most feared indigenous group in Borneo, embrace tattoos as a way of marking life's milestones, celebrating good harvest, and for spiritual protection. So if tattoos were so engraved in Malaysia's past, why has it become such a taboo today? In this documentary, I'm going to be interviewing people from different walks of life to find out what they have to say. It is no secret that the older generation in Malaysia are a bit skeptical when it comes to tattoos. So I decided to speak with a family friend of mine and she wanted to just tell me what she thought. In this interview, she's going to be telling us why she dislikes tattoos and how she would react if one of her grandchildren came back home with a tattoo. But the way I look at it, why desecrate your beautiful skin, whether it's black, white, yellow? God has given you very clear, beautiful skin. Why desecrate it with pictures? You know, because to me, tattoos look a little bit untidy when they are on the bodies. If they are really like all over the hands, all over the legs, all over the chest, all over the back, then it looks very untidy. They have to ask themselves, is this what I really want? Do I want the tattoo to glorify myself? Or, or because I'm a, I'm a Christian, I would say, will your tattoos glorify God? Will it, will it, will it, will it be you know, suitable for a conversation piece? Will it bring glory to God? Mm. Okay? And I also want to look at, it, at another point of view from the health risk. Because, you know, going to different tattoo artists, you're opening, they're opening your skin and they're actually shedding your blood. And sometimes you, you really don't know whether these artists, their needles are clean. They can introduce a lot of bacteria into your blood. Okay, diseases like hepatitis B and C, sorry. You know, our values change. Now you're young, you want to have a tattoo, it's fine, okay? But as you grow older in the future, will your value change? Will your future spouse approve of your tattoo? So these are questions that you need to ask yourself. You also need to ask, you know, whether will, it, will I get into trouble with my parents? From what I have heard, you know that the needle pricking your body is, can be very addictive. So once you have a tattoo, you will continually want to have more. I think that is the problem, you know, because eventually you won't be satisfied with just one tattoo. You will want to have more than one and then it becomes two and three and it goes on and on. Okay? It's very, it can be very addictive. How to react? I think I don't think I, I can react because, you know, if, if my grandchildren are adults, they have a choice, they have made a choice, I would still love them, but I won't focus on my, my unhappiness about them getting a tattoo. I rather focus on having a good relationship with them. But as you grow older, as you mature in years to come, will you still have the same values? What if your spouse doesn't approve of your tattoo? And you know how expensive it is to get rid of the tattoo? Very painful. Very, very painful, yeah. Even though she says that big, gaudy tattoos look unpleasant to her, there are many out there who would disagree. What may look untidy to some looks beautiful to others. The younger generation in Malaysia are now pushing the boundaries when it comes to tattoo culture. And who better to agree with me on this than someone who dedicates his life to tattoos? I met with Taco Joe, a longtime tattoo artist and owner of Wayang Kulit Tattoo here in SS15. His tattoo parlor added to the atmosphere as the ambience was elusive, raw, and darkly beautiful, just like tattoos. 
have you ever been in a situation where someone has treated you differently, um, in a negative and a positive sense, because of your tattoos? In a negative way, yeah, of course, all all the time. I mean, it's a stigma and a taboo, you know, to have like tattoos because it's associated with like being involved in like gangs, you know, like or triads, like you're the bad boy. Yeah. So I and and I and I completely understand that. So so if I'm say for instance I'm I'm going to buy something in a shop and it's run by an old lady or, or old uncle, for sure in their generation that tat- tattoos are deemed to be a bad thing. You know, yeah. so so they might treat me differently, but it's okay. They might be a bit more rude to me, or they might be a bit more doubtful to like me being in their shop. You know, but it's completely okay. I'm I'm, I'm used to it. You're used to it. Yeah, yeah. Or like being in the bank or stuff like that, or like being in a corporate setting. Of course, it's like they would treat you a bit different because like, oh, this guy, what is he doing here? You know, but it's it's completely cool. Have you ever had someone come up to you and like? Dude, your tattoos are beautiful. I mean, all the time, which I find is weird. Like, just because I have tattoos doesn't mean that it's okay for people to just randomly touch me in public. <laughs> this, has, this is the problem I find, like, a, a lot of tattoo people have because, like, people will just come up to you and touch your skin. Like, wow, this is real? Like, yeah, but please don't touch me. <laughs> you know? So. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you know... What made you want to like just kind of dedicate like your bread and butter to yeah. complete to come just to to do tattoos? I did not plan to be a tattoo artist. I I did not like you know when I was a kid. I'm like, all right, my goal in life is to one day draw weird stuff on people and get paid for it. No, I just it, it just sort of happened. You know, I I was in the punk scene and it, it, it was already in that sort of like lifestyle. You know, like uh, a lot of my friends has uh, tattoos and like uh, covered in tattoos so I've just sort of like slowly let uh, let on but like for meaning and stuff everyone has their own like like a client would come to me and, and, and tell me what they want for instance I say I want to get an eagle head and to some people it probably has like a very deep meaning but to some they just like an eagle head so it doesn't always have to have a deep meaning to represent like oh yeah this represent my mom and it doesn't always have to be like that you know yeah. it just could be just like something you get it yeah and then you just get it yeah. I mean tattooing in the western world is more accepted than here and it has a longer history mm. you know so it's more accepted and it's a bigger industry there than here so and there's a lot more tattooed people in the west or in like different parts of the world except in Asia so if if you compare both worlds of, of course it's different and like I guess they are more accepting of that. So if you were to... Like, you don't really feel being... Like, you, you don't feel the negative side that much of being tattooed in the West as much as here in Asia. That's cool. Um, what would you say... Well, since you, know, you clearly are uh, an advocate for tattoos here in Malaysia, and for the most part, like even you just said so earlier, a lot of people in Malaysia, especially... Um, from the old generation, they tend to be a bit skeptical about tattoos, right? Yeah. So since you are a t- tattoo advocate yourself, how would you want to change the scene and say that like you want Malaysia to have a more accepting, um, you know, accepting view of tattoos? Would you want to change that or? I mean, there's a fine line. For me personally, I like that uh, tattoos has this sort of like trap, sort of like idea behind it, and I like for it to be like that. You know, I. I don't really want it to be fully accepted because then it loses its, its, its yeah, and like <laughs> it's, yeah, and like it's like magic, you know. I uh, find uh, for for those who get tattooed, there are people that really is wanting to take charge of their life. Like yeah, you know, this is a testament to me rebelling against society, or it means something more than that. So I I, I don't want it to be fully accepted, but then also. Because times are changing and like a lot of people are getting tattooed and, and like a lot of professionals are getting tattooed. So more like, uh, more and more it's getting more more accepted. And I don't know. I, I guess it would just naturally progress into being more accepted. As you know, because it's deemed as being not so nice or like negative by the older generations and now times are changing. It's You, you see it more in like ads. Yeah. For like fashion ads or like in television or like celebrities and stuff. So so then when you see it more and more you you sort of like get used to it more and more. You know, so it just becomes part of 
society becomes part of life. It's just changing. Yeah, it's, it's constantly just, yeah. evolving. Oh yeah, for sure. That's cool. If you yeah. if you had a message to someone who's getting their tattoo for the first time, and what, what would you say to them? Suck it up. Suck it up and do it. Take the pain. <laughs> I really admired the way Joe looked at tattoos as if it was this type of art form that would lose its magic if it got normalized. You know, this kind of also explains why he's so relaxed and so chill if someone were to judge him because of the way he looks, because, you know, he's happy with it. You know, you know that he likes the edge that the tattoos give him. In the survey that I conducted for this documentary, out of 121 individuals, 48 individuals said that people who get tattoos often have a very rebellious streak. And making a choice to express yourself by embracing a totally different definition of beauty takes a lot of balls. And I feel that it's something that should be admired and not ostracized. My next interview is with CPU student John Gordon. So if you see him, say hi. Here's just him sharing about his experiences with tattoos. When did you first fall in love with tattoos? Um, since I was a kid, I guess. You can say I had a lot of family and friends who had tattoos. What, which was your first tattoo? Uh, my first tattoo was the nautical star. On is, your back? Yeah, which is this one on the back. The reason behind that was um, I was kind of a lost child. So, um, I'll, and no matter what I did, I always felt like I was being put back into the right track by <laughs> something. So, it's, so the reason behind that is um, it's a nautical star and the star is basically a guiding star. To home. So was that like a little, your, your beacon, your, yeah. your light? Oh, that's nice. It's really meaningful. Yeah. How did someone like your siblings or your parents feel in particular when you did get like tattoos and then got more after that? Oh, uh, so um, they didn't really find out because I didn't really tell my, my parents like I had I, I just got a tattoo. Like, you got it in took, secret? Yeah, it took like two, two years and just like one day she just like, I was chilling at home and then she looked at my back and she was like, what's that? And I'm like, oh, I had a tattoo done like, two years ago. Oh, how, how did she react to that? Eh, um, she's a die-hard Catholic, so obviously she'll be like, no, this is not right, you shouldn't hurt your body, your body's a temple. She lectured you? Um, yeah, but like, after a while she just got used to it. And it's a choice, you know, you make when you have that loose and Some people like it, some people don't like it, you just got to deal with it, I guess. Yeah. So... A lot of times when you talk to like, you know, Malaysian society, a lot of the cultures, or the older generation, you would say, a lot of times when they, say, when they talk about tattoos, it's always, oh, it's gangs, or it's the Antichrist, or it's something like that. So since there's already this negative perception of tattoos in Malaysian society, yeah. and you as a tattoo advocate, yeah. you know, what would you do to change? Or would you even try to change something like that? It is true that um, tattoos are often um, related to gangs, uh, even back in the days, but... It doesn't seem to be the case nowadays, especially in the, the 2000s. Like people just get tattoos just because they want to get tattoos. Mm. So I think the perception is slowly changing, and everyone is starting to be more accepting. Because um, if you were to compare Malaysia to Singapore, for example, where you would see like three out of five people having tattoos when you go to a mall somewhere. I'm pretty sure one day Malaysia will probably be the same. The similarity set by both Taco Joe and John was that the Malaysian youth are slowly taking the steps towards becoming a lot more accepting of tattoos. Whether that bodes well for people who find that tattoos are more awesome when it is not accepted, that's a bit hard to say. But we have to understand that there isn't a single standardized way um, to express yourself. And I think that when we start to accept tattoos as an art form, it opens doors for people to express themselves in more creative ways without any obstructions. And that is my English for you documentary. Miss Aparna, please give me four plus. Thank you for watching.